All right, welcome back, everyone. It's 1244. The temperature's dropping this week. It seems only fitting that we have a soup recipe in the Bender Kitchen today. Maybe it's cold outside. Yeah. Yeah. Our friend Heidi Lang here from the Fig Cooking School, now in Milford. In Milford, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I thought it's getting cold, right? Mm. We're expecting snow. We need something that's going to warm our soul. Absolutely. So instead of just making regular cauliflower soup, we're making a soup that has some really earthy, warm flavors like ginger. Ooh. We've got some garlic in there. We're going to throw some cardamom and then something called lemongrass. Okay. Lemongrass can be hard to find, but now there's these pastes that you can buy that make it a lot easier. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a big advocate for lemongrass paste. <laughs> that's, a big, that's a big thing in 2019. I bet you put in your eggs this morning. Oh, right? I did. Yeah, you no, did? no I did. Good? Does it, it taste good? It was, it was all right, but I think this is going to be better. Yeah, and then we're going to put some year? coconut uh, milk, too. Okay, Ooh. let's do so it. So let's start. First, we've got our cauliflower, right? And we have to roast this. So we would all we're going to do is you're going to take two heads, about three pounds of cauliflower, and you're going to put a little bit of oil. You want to open this for me? Sure, you're sec? using sunflower oil. Sunflower oil, yeah, because it's a high heat oil. Just, just pour it a little bit, a little pepper. Cool. And then a little salt, okay? And it just comes out really slow, oh, okay. but that's good. But that's then okay. you get the idea. Yeah, yeah. We will toss this. Okay. We'll put it in the oven for yes. 375. Okay. There you go, my little assistant. Yes, there you go. We're very helpful. Uh, and look, voila, look what we've got. How long did you do that for, Rosa? That, that was about 25 minutes. Okay. So easy. Okay, very easy. And in fact, this is a delicious side dish. Yeah. But we're going to do something way better than that. I feel like this is one of the dishes that you can kind of fool the kids in to eating. Yes, you know, because it's so you know white. That. Look how pretty it is. have to hide that cheese. Yeah. All I did is put a watermelon. Uh, uh, or a bead on top of it. So we're going to take, we're going to take some more uh, leeks, okay, and we're going to throw them in here. So we, we've got the pot. We've already started melting some butter. Okay. And uh, there we go. It's a little temperamental. Leek is similar to an onion. It or is no? leek to, similar it to an onion. Like an onion. And, uh, or like it's sort of a cross between an onion and a scallion. Okay. okay? So we're going to throw those in. We've already started browning these. So. And if you want to sort of stir that. Sure. And since they've already been browned in a little bit of butter and a little bit of oil. We're then going to add our garlic. Do you want to add the garlic? Sure, why not? Add some garlic. <laughs> and as we're doing this, people can actually experience this at the Fig Cooking School. They can, in Milford. they can. In fact, we're actually making this dish for our chef's table on Friday night. Oh, fine. Fun. So this Friday uh, you can actually experience this. You can experience this one, nice. yes. And then we're going to put in some lemongrass. Do you want to put some lemongrass in? Sure. And uh, here you go. Oh, it smells wonderful. Get over Probably there. Is. And then we're going to add there we go. some <laughs> ginger. Oh, yeah. And a little bit of, you want to put a pinch of salt and sure. a pinch of pepper. Okay. And then, is that on? Yep. It's and on. then we're going to add the cauliflower. And we're going to let this cook for about 10 minutes until it's soft. Cool. Just, just going to stir this a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to add in our chicken broth. Mm -hmm. And it's quite a our, bit there, huh? it's four cups. Four cups. And then one can of coconut milk. And you stir and you stir. Now, can you use normal milk or you prefer? You can, but it's much tastier. Okay. And so then we're going to use, we use an immersion blender to blend this or a, or a blender. And then this is what That's we That's how get. it comes Voila. out. Voila. Oh, look how beautiful. Ooh. That's for you. Can we try it? Of course. Here's a spoon for you. And Thank what do you, you have on top of this, this pretty uh, little a watermelon purple. radish? Isn't that beautiful? I've never heard They're of that. They're hard to find. They're hard to find. So taste, tell me what you think. It's really creamy. Mm. Do you taste the ginger? Do you taste the lemongrass? And the coconut. You do. Wow, that's good. What great yeah. flavors. It's very unique, too. It it's, is. It's different. It is. Oh, so I think it's wonderful. A piece of healthy. crusty bread, and there you go. Good to Perfect go. Perfect for so the winter this weekend. It, exactly. Right? Cold weather. On Sunday, this is a great dish to make. Perfect. Heidi, so. thank you so much. You're make sure so that you guys welcome. stop by the Fig Cooking oh, School. thank you. FigCookingSchool.com. It's down in Milford. We love Follow them on Instagram. You guys have great pictures. Oh, thank you. We'd love to see you all. Awesome. We love you, Heidi. We love you too. What's <laughs> that coming up you after the break? You, you guys have a little love fest over here? A little bit of a kind of love fest. <laughs>